The Prince of Wales visited Pirelli Tires Limited in Carlisle this morning to celebrate the brand's 50th anniversary while on a day tour of Cumbria. Charles, 70, chuckled as he shared a joke with workers at the Italian firm's UK base in the northwest. The heir to the throne looked dapper as usual in a grey pinstripe suit with a polka dot tie, as he mingled with factory staff before heading to Langdale Langdale Ambleside Mountain Rescue Team. He met volunteers and rescue dogs, who put on a display of some life-saving demonstrations for the royal. The plant in Carlisle is Pirelli's main production site in the UK, and employs about 900 people and has been there since 1969. He was accompanied by the Italian ambassador to the UK, Raffaella Trombetta, and Marco Tronchetti Provera, chief executive officer of the Italian firm. While on a tour of the factory, the heir to the throne inspected the tires and also got to glimpse at a McLaren 600LT sports car, that costs a minimum of £187,625. As well as the sparkling new McLaren. The grandfather of three also looked intrigued by the classic Ferrari Dino, which was discontinued in the 70s. Pirelli has been operating in the UK since 1929, and employs 1,300 people at its sites in Carlisle and Burton-on-Trent. At the end of the 50-minute visit, Charles unveiled a plaque to mark the occasion, receiving a round of applause from factory workers. Chief Executive Marco Tronchetti Provera said, it's a special day for Carlisle. A special day for Pirelli. It was a great honor to welcome His Royal Highness to our factory in Carlisle during this important anniversary year, and so celebrate the enduring and fruitful relationship between Pirelli and the United Kingdom. It will be a day that we will all long remember. The factory focuses on tires for premium and prestige cars and Charles was shown a range of supercars. The royal visitor chatted with the firm's senior managers as he viewed a Range Rover, a McLaren Spider, a Jaguar e type a Ferrari Dino and an Aston Martin DBS Superleggera, all fitted with Pirelli tires. Well-wishers at the factory looked delighted to see the Queen's eldest son, who will be busy with royal visits during a whistle-stop tour of Cumbria today. Charles will later open Windermere Jetty Museum of Boats, Steam and Stories in Bonus, following a £20 million development by Lakeland Darts. The museum tells the story of 200 years of boats, boating and boat building in the Lake District. Later the royal visitor will meet the Langdale Ambleside Mountain Rescue Team, tour the team's base in Ambleside, speak to volunteers and watch a rescue demonstration. Charles' final visit of the day will be to the Hawkshead Relish Company, an award-winning, family-run business making artisan preserves, relishes and chutneys based in a 16th-century barn in Hawkshead. His busy schedule comes ahead of the imminent birth of his fourth grandchild, who is believed to be due this month. While Charles boasts a very friendly relationship with his daughter-in-law, the Duchess of Sussex, Meghan's own father may not ever meet his grandchild. According to an explosive new preview for TLC documentary Meghan and Harry, a royal baby story, Thomas Markle may never meet his daughter's first child. Duncan Larkham, author of Prince Harry, The Inside Story, admitted the likelihood of the Duchess of Sussex's estranged father reuniting with Meghan when she welcomes her firstborn child with Prince Harry this spring, was low.